We're ready to go. Okay. Okay, hello again, everybody. Um, welcome to the channel. Today we picked up a blower. Now, I don't know what kind of shape she's in, but I got her from next to nothing, and I'm kind of hoping I can turn a couple of dollars into a few dollars. This one, a little bit dirty, but a little bit dirty usually won't scare me off. I did not have enough tools with me to get inside it to get a good look at it when I bought it, but I bought it for $10, so it was worth grabbing anyway. I found quite a few things along the way that way, and a lot of them paid off. So, let's go ahead and open this one up and see what we've got. If this runs well, I can get an easy $50 out of it. Okay, the air filter is, okay, it's obviously shot. It's not holding its shape, but I've got an air filter right here. I've got a whole box of assorted air filters I've picked up along the way, so we can throw a new air filter in real quick. That's easy peasy. Okay, now the carburetor is probably going to need rebuilt. This thing's been sitting for a while. And you're getting a look at it at the same time I am. This is my first real look at this thing. Um, let's make sure she's done that many fuel in her. She doesn't. The tank looks pretty clean. That's that's positive. That's looking good. Huh. No fuel lines. So we're going to have to put fuel lines on this to get her running. Not a problem. Next thing we're going to check. And these are the checks I do before... I decide whether or not to really dig into something. Next thing we're going to do is, excuse me, grab one of these. Nope, not that one. We're going to pull the spark plug out. And about six months ago, I picked up a cute little toy, a little camera that I could use to look inside the cylinder. And looking inside the cylinder will tell you a lot about one of these things. If you see a little scratch here and there, it's not really a problem. If you see big gouges up and down the cylinder, then you probably want to run away, or if it's an expensive piece of equipment, go ahead and put a cylinder on. It's easier to put a cylinder on one of these than you would think. So, in this case, I wouldn't, but only because I'll probably only get $50 for it. So now we're looking at the plug, and you can see the plug has a little bit of a chalky look to it. And when you get the chalky look, that tells you that this thing was running hot. Um, a lot of reasons it might run hot. When it looks really oily, it's running cold. When it looks like this, it's running hot. This plug is a 6, RCJ6Y. 6s and 7s are the most common. The 7 is the hotter of the two. So the fact that this is running hot is a little concerning, but I'm not too worried. As long as they didn't run regular gas in it, it's probably fine. So now let's pull the new toy out. Camera on a stick. And I'll adjust this so you can see it at the same time I do. I'll adjust this camera. So what this gives us is an inside view to the machine. Let me pull the camera down a little bit for you. These lines here, or where the exhaust gases are escaping. It doesn't look like it's too terribly scarred up, but I am looking at this down this side. And so I'm thinking we may even have a broken ring on this. As you can see, the line's running up and down the side, and that's where the exhaust gets out. So, as sad as it is, and I hate to say it, but this one's a parts department. Okay, today we saw a unit that failed inspection. And the only reason I decided to go ahead and publish the video is you saw the vertical lines on the cylinder wall and then the little pieces of metal inside it. I can tell you right now, I know how that happened. Somebody ran this with, with pure gasoline and didn't run the oil mixture. These little motors do not have an oil reserve, so they count on lubrication from the fuel that comes in. When you run it without lubrication, what you saw in that video takes just a couple of minutes, maybe five minutes, and that's what your engine will look like on the inside. So as a word of warning, not even an emergency, do not run straight gas in little engines. And if you do, 
that's what you're going to get out of it. You'll have a little engine that ends up in the trash.